Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. My name is Pam, and today I am taking you on part two of my shopping trip with Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. We had a fun time shopping together recently, and in this video, we are shopping at the Goodwill retail store that's connected to the outlet, or better known as the bins. And this one is on Sunset Boulevard in West Columbia, South Carolina. And then we're gonna end this video shopping at the Goodwill in Lexington, South Carolina. It's also on Sunset Boulevard. Beth and I had a great time shopping together during her visit. And I invite you to check out her channel. I'm going to link her channel's information in my description box. And I also invite you to subscribe to my channel, especially if you love shop-alongs. Please like this video and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. What was your favorite item that we looked at today? So go ahead, grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go shopping. I found this little bag of buttons, but they don't seem to be vintage buttons, and I can tell because of the barcode on the back. This is the Nestle World Globe mug. This is a great pickup, but this is only one, so I'm not sure about picking up only one. But then I found this amazing rainbow mug. Still perfect after all these years. This was such a cute mug. And check this one out. I love these tulips. I love the colors, the blue and yellow, and that green background. And there were a lot of mugs on this trip. I found this vintage mug. It looks like it's one of those mugs that come in a stack of mugs. And y'all, check this one out. This is the cutest little Happy Father's Day mug. I love this one. It says, World's Best Dad. Perfect for Father's Day. And I like this one too. It looked like those Irish mugs. Love those flowers. And y'all, I'm not too far from the Great Smoky Mountains. This definitely is a souvenir mug. Really, really cute. And y'all, I love this one. Arizona. Have you ever been to the Grand Canyon? Let me know if you have. This is the Spice of Life Corningware dish. It would be great filled with homemade macaroni and cheese. Unfortunately, it had a chip off of the handle. This stack of blocks caught my attention. I wasn't quite sure what to make of this. And as I picked it up and looked at it, it says FamilyGamesAmerica.com. I think that's just a website where you can go and purchase some unusual games. This may be a game. I couldn't figure it out if it was. And then I noticed these plates. They were super large and heavy. I liked the look of them. Very nice pattern and color. Do you like drinking out of the pottery style mugs? If you do, this is a beautiful mug. It was signed by the artist. And if I remember, I believe it was glazed on the inside. It was just a cool piece. And then I noticed this. This looks like a pitcher of some sort. Maybe it was from Target. It looks like it's something that's from their Threshold brand. And then I ran into this Mary Inglebright tiny little coffee cup. It was so cute. And it was such a great price when some of the other mugs that I've seen today were clearly overpriced at $3. But this one was a great price. I saw this thinking, oh, it must be wood. What a great piece to put on the wall in my booth to display smaller items. But it turned out to be a piece of plastic and I wasn't interested in that. Do your Goodwills look like this? 
There's lots going on on the shelves. Things were piled together, but I did manage to find this cute little panda picture frame. It was holding this rainbow style ball. It was just a cute picture. And then I found this piece. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks like maybe a piece of rock was cracked open, but I do believe that smaller piece that I looked at was made by an artist and not something you would just find in nature. And of course I see this ball here. I'm not sure what the purpose of that, just for decor. It said family in that Ray Dunn font. These were some cute little pieces here that looks like a sweet little trinket box. And I'm not sure what the purpose of that church is. It could be something from the Dollar Tree. But going down the aisles, I noticed on top of the racks, this brass bowl. I like that it was kind of a, in a pedestal style. And let's just take a moment here. This is the Mikasa nativity scene. It doesn't have the Mary. I had one of these in a much smaller scale that I sold. It's very mid-century modern. What a beautiful nativity set. I also like this piece. I wish there was another one that went along with it, but this was the only one. Did you notice that little dog Chia Pet there? I wanted to take a look at this brass basket. It was a nice size, but a little bit more than I wanted to spend. These mugs were great looking. They were made by Threshold. That's a Target brand. I love the color. I love that gold pattern on them. They would be perfect for cereal. Take a look at this seashell that someone painted. Wait, that's not a real seashell. No, I think this is a porcelain trinket dish. And the top and bottom is, of course, made to look like a real seashell. And I believe that the flowers were hand painted or either decoupaged on. Then I noticed this absolutely gorgeous pottery bowl. It was in really rough shape or I would have purchased this. I had to leave this one behind. And you can see where it was crazed really bad, had cracks, but it was a beauty. This was a beautiful dish in the shape of a pineapple. It was made out of seashells. It was so pretty. And then this was another pineapple, quite heavy, some type of metal, $6.99, not a bad price for the weight. Look at this, the box gives it away. Temptations. This was $14.97, but check out this dish. It had the rack that goes with it, a lid, a plate underneath. This was a great find. I liked this piece. I like the geometric shape. You know, I love that brass look, but it was really lightweight. 
And then I noticed this bottle. I really liked this whole style. I thought the coloring was beautiful. And it was $9.99, which I thought was a little more expensive than I wanted to spend for it. Look at this bowl. Aren't those colors beautiful? And I found this napkin holder. This is a great style. But check this fish out. Isn't it darling? This would be great for anyone's decor that loves that nautical theme. It was signed on the bottom. And these plates were pretty much my style, but of course I'm not gonna purchase just one set. They were from World Market, and you know I love that store. I never get to go there. The World Market is on the other side of town from where I live. It's a long drive. And here we have a stack of Franciscan Desert Rose saucers. You know, they're beautiful, I know they're vintage, but no one seems to buy these. Do you have a collection of these? Let me know down in the comments below. I noticed this coffee table. It looks like something from Target maybe. It has that Magnolia Joanna Gaines feel to it. What are your thoughts on this table? Would you buy it for $74? The first piece I would like to share with you is this Nestle World Globe mug. I have sold these in the past in my booth, so I decided to pick this one up and add to my collection, and when I get enough, I will put them back in my booth and sell them again. Next, I bought the rainbow mug that says, still perfect after all these years. I thought it was so fun. I love rainbow mugs. They're so happy, and even though it was a little expensive, I thought it was well worth it. I picked up this cute fish. I couldn't help it. I think it's gonna go great in someone's home decor, so I decided to purchase it, and it is for sale in my booth. I picked this unusual piece up. It is a Raku Pottery Works Crater Bowl. The outer layers is made of lava. I just thought it was an amazing piece. It is artist signed, and I will be selling this in my booth. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for shopping along with me. Make sure that you head over to Beth's channel, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, and go ahead and subscribe. She's got a lot of great content. Thanks for shopping along with me today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.